Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. So, I tried to use the latest update, but it bricked my path with Case Case. Not only that, I think there's a really, I think there's a really bad bug. So, it took me to the characters, the skip to character select screen. And I went on the first day with Case Case. And when I skipped ahead to the second day, all the hearts on his character were gone. And it just kept repeating the same day over and over and over again. So, um, yeah, that seems to be some kind of bug. So I'm, I've rolled back to version 0.62. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. So if I'm going over a little, just a little bit of content that I did last time, just never mind it. I, I got as close as I could to where we were. Anyway, you two are dating. Feels like normal that we'd be talking about you. There's nothing normal in this conversation. I like. I like talking about it, though. I feel like I know you a little better now. Just shut up and hand me a few pans from under the counter. I'm gonna make breakfast. I don't want it to take too much time, so I'll just make something simple. Tamagoyaki, miso soup, and rice. That should be good enough. I can put some water in the pan and wait for it to come to a simmer while I prep the tamaki tamagoyaki. You're really fast with that knife. I know I've seen you cook before, but it always surprises me to see that. You think? I cook pretty often, so I guess I'm a bit skilled with it. Carefully you don't cut your finger. You're not even looking at your hands while you do it. See, see the way I'm holding the vegetables? This claw shape makes it pretty much impossible for me to cut myself. The knife stops by the knuckle on my fingers and is guided down from there. If you say so, I remember you cutting yourself in the past, though. That was years ago. How far back are you going? Hmm. I, I guess you might be right. I guess I'm right. I am right. You're making tamagoyaki? Yep, that miso soup. Sounds pretty good. Do you want me to get three bowls of rice for us in the meantime? Could you? That'd be pretty helpful, thanks. Sure. Eki diligently does as he's asked, grabbing three bowls and serving some rice into each of them for us. He went through the whole he went through the trouble of getting plates and bowls for the miso and tomagiaki too. It's moments like these that really make me appreciate him. By the way, I just remembered. You left your little song notebook thingy upstairs, KSK. I was gonna bring it to you, but I forgot. Oh, right. I totally forgot. I'll go grab it right now. Be right back. Song notebook thingy? Well, what's that? Uh, KSK apparently has a little pocket notebook he uses to write down lyrics and other music stuff that he carries around with him everywhere. Huh. By the way, Aniki, is everything okay? Yeah, of course it is. Why do you ask? Are you sure? Seriously, what are you on about? Is this, this the second time you're asking? Just never mind. Why are you being weird? I said never mind. There, I got it. Made sure I didn't leave anything else behind too. That was quick. I'm pretty spry. Weird flex, but alright. I finished making breakfast only an occasional quip from Aki. Mostly I just listened to the two talking while I worked. It didn't take long before the subject turned to tennis again. Yet I was so focused on cooking that I only half listened to what they were saying. By the time we finished eating, there was nothing but the rice left over for dinner. Thank god these rice cookers kept, uh, kept for a while. That was really good, Yuichi. I think I could get used to this. You live in a house full of people taking care of your every need. You're already used to this. <clears throat> right. That's true. Dumbass. Did you say something? I said I was going to do the dishes. At least try to listen. Jeez, no need to be snippy. Do you have your things ready? We should probably get going soon. Why the rush? We're still going to be at least 30 minutes early. Well, yeah, I know that, but... You're antsy because you usually get to school way before I do, aren't you? Yes. Case case sighs, leaning forward on his seat. Seeing him exasperated like this is actually kind of cute. I give him a quick and gentle rub on the back, making sure not to be too overly, overly affectionate with Aki nearby. There, all done with the dishes. Damn, you're fast. It's not like there was a lot of them. They were, f they weren't that dirty either. And the pans? Oh, right. How could you possibly forget about the pans? Just then, a loud knock echoes from the front door, startling me. It's really early. Who? I'll get it. But no, wait. At least finish doing what you started. The pans are still dirty. Ugh. Need me to get those. No, it's fine. I'll... Ah! I hear Aki gasping, Aki gasping loudly from the front door. The fur on the back of my neck stands at attention. I run there before having, before even having time to think about it. Oh, shit. Big dude. I rush to the front door, thinking that it must be an intruder, an assailant, or something, and feeling ready to throw down. Instead, I find a giant wolf standing in front of the open door, looking down at Aki with a raised eyebrow while my little brother just gawks at him, frozen on the spot. What? Alex notices my arrival as well, looking up at me with the same look on his face, 
Then looking down from me to Aki and back to me as the three of us continue to silence stare down for at least a few seconds. Uh, may I come in? Huh. Oh, right, y yeah, of course, come in. I invite Alex inside, having to physically nudge Aki out of the way as he just continues to stare. At least Aki snaps back to reality real quick when I pull on his shoulder, following quietly behind us. Looks like an elf water time. Alright. I guess it's safe to say we're both stunned. No one expects to find a huge muscular wolf standing on their doorway so early in the morning. I appreciate it. Alex? Keisuke sees us popping in from the entrance hall, his jaw going slack as he walks up to us, just as confused as Aki and I are. What are you doing here? I came to... Alex's eyes fall on Keisuke, going silent immediately. He quickly scans Keisuke from top to bottom. Your clothes are wrinkled. That's the first thing you comment on. I'm sorry Matt is good at folding and steaming clothes. Seriously, Alex, what are you doing here? I, uh, I got in trouble. Oh god, what happened? Tensions were high in the household yesterday. Kuroda was clearly taking joy being in his new position. He and I had a bit of a disagreement. Please tell me you didn't do anything to him. Of course not. You know me better than that. Then what happened? It isn't a big deal. We had words. We got a bit heated. He used his newfound power over me to suspend me for the week. In retrospect, he was probably goading me into it. What? Well, suspended? Yes. How can you say something like that so nonchalantly? Because it's what happened? That's not the point! Do you have a point? I... you... this... ah! You seem displeased. Forgive me if I wasn't ready to be bombarded with this kind of mess so early in the morning. Ah, yes, that would make sense. I'm sorry for dropping this on you like this. It's fine. So, if you're suspended, what are you doing here? You've, you've never spent the night outside the house. I came to check in on you. I also brought your Tuesday school bag since you'd forgotten it. But, you're suspended. You didn't have to worry about that. I do not worry about you because I have to. I choose to. I... that's... hmm... Huh? See? I told you Alex cared about you. I was worried you might have left for school earlier and I wouldn't catch up. Luckily, it does not seem your presence has changed Yuichi's schedule. What does that even mean? That you didn't leave for school as early as KSK usually does. You could have simply shown up and dropped my bag for me at school. It's not a big deal. Yes, I was, I was however, hoping you'd allow me to walk you to class. Huh? You've never walked to school before. I would prefer to be around when you do so, to make sure you are safe. You, you do realize you are suspended, right? If me walking to school is such a concern, I'm sure the estate would have sent a relief bodyguard to do it. They wouldn't. They wouldn't? They seem pretty intent on meddling in KSK's life. I'm surprised they wouldn't. They know I'd choose to come even if I am suspended. My suspension is purely for the sake of docking my pay and hurting my reputation. They have no illusions that I would stop doing my job simply because of it. So they expect you to keep working through a suspension? Is that illegal? Is that illegal? That feels like it should be illegal. Why am I not surprised? You're not. Now, you did seem very surprised just now. Well, I'm, I'm surprised that you're here and that you'd go that far. I'm not surprised that they would plan on making you work through a suspension. Again, they did not make me work. I choose to work. Your safety is more important to me than a paycheck. Alex, that's... I... Wow. So, may I accompany you to class? Yes. Yes, you may. Thank you. We did finish having breakfast and we were just... Just hanging out before ha heading to school. I guess we could leave now. Nah, uh you're not getting out of finishing what you, what you started. You still didn't wash the pans. Damn it! Why did you even offer to do it if you don't, if you didn't want to? <laughs> Second nail, water time. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. Wait for me. I'll go with you guys. A few minutes later. All right, I locked the door. Do you remember to close your bedroom window, Aki? You're asking me this after locking the door? I'm asking as a formality. You usually always remember to do this stuff. Then don't ask. And yes, I closed the window. I'm surprised you chose to came, come with us, Akiyoshi-kun. Isn't, isn't your school far from ours? I'd have thought you'd have left earlier. I knew you were spending the night, so I wanted to stick around and leave with you guys. I didn't want to be the only one left out. Wait, how do you know how far my school is? Isn't that the uniform of, Hira, of Hiraganishi Academy? It's the best elementary school in the prefecture. I'm an, I'm an alumnus. What? You are? Keisuke nods, the smile on his face widening. I'm surprised. I thought you'd have studied someplace, I don't know, more expensive? I sort of did. I thought I'm... I think I might have mentioned before how the Saitama estate isn't the family's main estate, right? 
At least I think I did. I'm not too sure. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's say you did. Before we moved to Saitama, I used to study in a different school. That was one. Way, that one was way more expensive. There really aren't any other schools quite as expensive as it is, as it is in the as it is in the prefecture, though. Plus, Hiraganishi is already very expensive. I can only go there because of a scholarship. How on earth do you know that? Mom and I make sure not to discuss that sort of thing with you. She left a few documents lying around some years ago, and I saw how much she was paying. Plus, the internet exists, and I can look this stuff up. I really wish you wouldn't stick your nose in this kind of thing. It's not that bad. Dude, easy for you to say. Your family wouldn't even have to blink at the school's tuition. But fair point. Still, I'm surprised you studied there. It was only for my last year in elementary school when my family first came to Saitama. Why did you guys come to Saitama anyway? Um, you said the main estate isn't here, and at least according to the internet, neither is the company's headquarters. I got father to agree to let me move to Saitama when I first started getting into the competitive tennis. Grandmother refused to let me go somewhere if she wasn't going to be around, so the entire family uprooted here. The original plan was for me to live alone in the estate with only the attendants and servants. Huh, I didn't know any of that. Keisuke does try very hard to keep it a secret, yes. Alex, just shut up already. Just shut up for a second. Alex clicks his tongue, otherwise showing no visible change to his facial expression whatsoever. Point is, Hiragani Point is, Hiraganishi was the best school they could enroll me in when we first moved here. It was the most freedom I'd had since I was first taken in by the Urushihara family. That sounds a bit exhausting, and kind of sad. You have no idea. Keisuke would also let me guard him much more thoroughly back then as well. It wasn't until late in the late middle school years that he began rebelling against supervision. Something you still won't let go let me something you still won't let go of to this day. Indeed. I lean in closer to Keisuke, covering my mouth with a hand and whispering in his ear. I'm actually surprised you didn't put up a fight with him uh, fight him coming with us at all. I thought of it, but I felt bad that he ended up being suspended from work because of me, and I don't have the money to pay him back anymore either. Because of you? He said he got into a fight with his boss when you weren't even around. How is that your fault? I know these people. It was probably a way to send me a message. Alex is my biggest and closest supporter. And they just showed me how easily they can get rid of him if they wanted to. No doubt they wanted to show off how they could isolate me from my faction. Eek, this whole thing gives me a headache. None of this political intrigue sounds like actual real life. Are these people even a family at all? I don't get it. Family's supposed to care for each other. They don't seem like a family at all. What are you two whispering about? Oh, that's, um, I was asking about your clothes. My clothes? I've never seen you dressed like that before. I was mentioning to Keisuke how I'm not used to seeing it. Alex, Alex looks down at his own clothes, blinking a few times before finally speaking again. Is it that strange? Not really. At least not to me. Then again, I'm used to seeing you dressed like this. You are? Alex wears his uniform most of the time when he's working. But don't you think he'd call too much attention to himself if he always wore that, if he always wore that when going out with me? He does always wear that when going out with you. When we visited the music store, when we went to the mall, when we visited the shrine that shrine with Vikun, he was wearing his uniform every single time. I wore my uniform those times because I didn't have time to prepare beforehand. Prepare? Yes. Keisuke is constantly trying to leave without my noticing or my supervision. When I catch him on his way out, I am forced to leave in my uniform. Usually when I have time to prepare, I will wear something less... something less. Thank you, know, Water time. Delicious. Just how much trouble do you usually cause him? I don't want to get into that. The answer is a lot. I'm not that bad. Hmm. Don't me. Is there anything bad about my clothes? I find it odd that you'd mention them. Not bad, they're just very unusual. It's for sure gaudier than most people are used to, especially the necklace. At least he's not wearing the leather jacket. <laughs> There's usually a jacket on top? Sometimes there is only the jacket. Oh god, in the middle of the street? Please tell me he at least closes the jacket. I don't know why you guys are being so fussy about it. I think his clothes are really cool. Oh? I think I want to buy something like that, maybe even with a leather jacket. Absolutely not! Aw, why? You don't need to be calling a bunch of attention to yourself. Alex can wear basically whatever he wants. He's already huge with an unusual tattoo and with a fur pattern that isn't very common over here. He screams foreigner, so he's going to invite a ton of attention anyway. You aren't. Boo! It's probably for the best. Blending in gives you the best odds of avoiding being targeted. Targeted for what? You do not want to know. But I do! No, you don't. You're way too young to be worrying about that. You're the one telling me to worry. 
I'm not telling you to worry. I'm not telling you to worry. I'm just telling you to listen to me. But you're worrying. That's right. I'm the one worrying. You're supposed to be... You're supposed to just enjoy your childhood without worrying. You're the one not letting me enjoy it with your constant nagging. I'm just looking out for you. I don't need... All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.